Arches. Various parts of arches. 1. Abutment. The part of the wall on which the arch rests is called abutment. 2. Span. The clear horizontal distance between two supports of an arch is called span. 3. Intrados. The inner curved surface of the arch is called intrados. 4. Extrados. The external curved surface of the arch is called extrados. 5. Crown. The highest point of the extrados is called crown. 6. Rise. The vertical distance between the highest point on the intrados and the springing line is called a rise. 7. Springing point. The point of intersection of the intrados and skew back is called springing point. 8. Boussoirs. Wedge-shaped masonry forming the arch are called boussoirs. 9. Keystone. The highest central wedge-shaped masonry used in the arch is called keystone. 10. Depth. The perpendicular distance between the extrados and intrados is called depth of the arch. 11. Spandrel. The triangular space between the back of the arch ring i.e., the space between the tangent at the crown and the extrados is called spandrel. 12. Haunch. The bottom half portion of the arch between the skew back and the crown is called haunch. 13. Skew back. The splayed surface of the abutment on which the end of the arch rests is called skew back. Thank you.